hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm back with you with another close-up photoshop video um loads of you guys requested this image after the last week's behind the scenes so i just kind of want to show you how i work on the shot uh, i'm going to get right into it i'm just going to create another layer because i want to have an option of going back kind of seeing my progress and seeing what i've done in this with the skin and so on um i am going to start with fixing any skin imperfections but if, before I do dodge and burn I'm just going to go into my usual patch tool and I'm just going to get rid of any stuff that kind of I feel needs fixing. So I just select bit by bit um, you can go get as close as you want. Um, with patch tool I find that I can be quite kind of you know careless with what I select so it's always good. Now in this part of photoshopping, I only look for the kind of biggest imperfections that bother me the most. I'm not worried about skin texture per se. I just get rid of any spots, um, any bigger kind of um, imperfections and so on. And then whatever is left after that, I'm going to do in dodging and burning. But for now, it's just, you know, as I said, any visible spots, any, you know, pimples, stuff like that. That's where I fix with my little patch tool. Okay, now that I have most of the stuff dealt with that I wanted to deal with, maybe just this little guy here. Okay, now that I have most of the skin dealt with, um, and it's looking much better already, as you can see, you know, there's quite a bit of spots that we removed. Um, I'm going to go into dodging and burning. For this one, I'm not going to go into the tree layer, you know, the black and white and the contrast. I'm just going to create a dodge and burn by itself. So I'm going to press Alt, New Layer, then Soft Light, and then fill with Soft Light to a neutral color, 50% gray. So I'm going to create that, and then I'm just going to get straight into dodging and burning. So for now, I am going to brighten any parts of the image that I feel that need to be brightened. So any kind of little lines like that, um, any little, you know, imperfections, kind of darker spots and so on. Um, this is a process that will take quite a long while. Um, I spend between 30 to 40 minutes um, dodging and burning on skin depending on how bad the skin is or you know how many things need to be fixed on it so i will speed it up in here because i don't want you guys to be sitting here with me for 40 minutes but um but yeah just to get a sense it's not a quick process it takes time and you know you have to keep coming back on your work and stuff and keep checking how you're doing and so on so just bear that in mind it's not something that happens you know in three minutes so i just start and whatever basically i see a line um I just go over it with a light brush. So I select white brush, um flow, it's usually quite low, it's usually quite um it's usually around two, maybe three percent of flow. Um and I just go over any area that I feel like needs to be brightened.
Okay, now that I have the major um, kind of work done, as you see, there's quite a bit of a difference. Um, I just want you to realize that it's not a short process. It does take a good bit of time. It took me probably like 10, 15 minutes just to this part. Um, so I just kind of want to show you to realize that it's not something that you just, you know, do with a stroke of a pen. Now I have a few little areas like those kind of guys that I can see that are like little bumpy. So I'm going to come back to my previous layer and just get rid of them. Again, unfortunately, when it comes to Photoshop, there is no easy fix solution most of the time. You know, obviously, if you're not shooting close up beauty, if it's something that, you know, um, is more like a full body shot, then yeah, of course, you can get away with much more. Um, but being so close to the skin, you really do need to pay attention and you really do need to, um, you know, spend your time doing all the little fixes because everything is like under a microscope and I think that's the beauty and the pain of a close-up beauty that it's not just a matter of clicking you know your heels and like it magically just fixes itself um, on that note though there are a few shortcuts that you could do um, but I just want to stress that dodge and burn for me personally is the most efficient way to photoshop um, a beauty shot and i just feel like it takes practice it takes time to do but i find it's the most rewarding out of all the styles going back to dodge and burn to so just fix that one little thing so as you see i'm mostly brightening stuff i don't really use the darkened part um yet anyway Now, going back to my main layer, um, another thing that I like to do when I have a close-up photo like that, as you see, the skin is much better already. So there's a huge difference. It's still a bit patchy, but I'm not too worried about that at the second. Um, so I'm going to grab a brush um, on my layer, on my copied layer, and I'm going to sample the skin. And I'm going to keep the flow quite low and I'm going to go just over all the areas that I'm still unsure about. So kind of under the eye, around the nose especially because it might be a bit funny. I might sample it by the nose though because it's a bit of a different color than the rest. Here under the eye. So what that does, it basically just smooths out the image for you a tiny bit. Um, it doesn't kill the texture if your brush is low enough. Um, I wouldn't say that it's probably the recommended method of going about stuff, but this is kind of like a lazy photographer triplet, um, trick, let's put it this way. It just kind of softens the skin texture for you ever so slightly without looking blurred or, you know, um, just not nice. So I'm going to grab the white and the dodge and burn because I feel like this is a bit dark here again. And now again, I'm just going to go sample the skin there and just go over it a tiny bit. So I feel like in those kind of situations, it's whatever works for you. Um, this method I find works usually pretty well for me when it comes to smoothing the texture and so on. I feel like I need to soften this guy here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I want to get rid of some of this stuff. So I'm just going to grab a mid gray. And this way I can just cover up stuff that is a tiny bit too bright. This was actually recommended to me by one of the guys that follow me here. So thank you very much for that. Um, and yeah, that's just kind of balanced now. Again, still, I just feel like this needs a tiny bit more. But I feel like the skin looks really good right now. So as you see, this was the before and this is the after 
you still have quite a lot of texture but it's just softened a tiny bit so that's what we kind of want okay now now the next step is to actually highlight places that i want to um that i want to have so i might set up another dodge and burn so alt new layer soft light and i'm just going to call it highlight and fill it up neutral gray okay so now i'm going to go over this highlight on the cheek again white brush i'm not changing the flow of it and i'm just going a tiny little bit over the highlight line so i'll just add it here i'll make it stronger on the nose i will go around the nose as well I will highlight any area that I see that is kind of naturally shiny. Just don't go overboard, obviously, like I just did. And then I'm going to go over the eye as well because I want it to be nice and bright. And I feel like it's getting a bit lost. Okay, now I feel like I can grab the black brush and just go over certain areas a tiny bit with the darker brush. So I'm going to go over the eye to start with because I feel like the color would be nicer if it was slightly bit deeper. So I'm just going over all the areas here and I think it kind of brings out the glitter, glitter a tiny bit better. So I like that. So just any area kind of like, you know, around the waterline and so on. I browse a tiny bit, yeah. Now maybe around the nose ever so slightly, not too much. So as you see, for now, if I do that, You'll see already the difference is quite major. You know, just fixing all the skin and making sure the skin is perfect is like the biggest part of the success, basically. That's beautiful. Okay, now I am going to go and do the usual um, curves and stuff. So this one is going to be a bit of a highlight curve, just a tiny bit brighter and then a tiny bit of shadows, not too much. And now I'm going to do a curve layer. I don't want to make the skin too bright, so just need to keep that in mind. Now, in that, I like how contrasty it is, but I don't like how dark the eyeball got. So I'm just going to use the black, put the flow up, and just mask it out a tiny bit. Okay, and now one of the last steps that I feel are important is hue saturation. Um, I just want to make sure that the eye is very vibrant and that the colors are really nice and strong. So I'm just going to mask it out. So control I, invert the mask, and I'm just going to go over the eye area and the lips because I don't want any color, you know, any excess color on the skin. So. I'm just going to go over that, maybe increase the flow again. That's a bit intense. Okay. This one, because I'm just doing the color, it can be quite um, strong in terms of flow. Beautiful, okay. And now, finally, I feel like maybe we need a tiny bit of warmth in the skin, just a tiny little bit, so maybe a plus two. And then I feel like it needs to be a tiny bit yellow, so maybe plus one in here. And that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, this is the final image. Um, again, this is the before and after. It makes quite a difference, I feel. I really love how it looks. And, you know, just the wind and burning really makes all the difference to your skin. It keeps the texture, you know, intact. It doesn't change it. So I really, really love this technique and I think it's a brilliant technique to try. Um, let me know what you think. And I would also love to see you on Instagram. You know, I post a lot of stuff on Instagram, not that much on other social media. So follow me there and just see what I'm up to. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.